The White Hat Mastermind Show, episode number two. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the White Hat Mastermind Show, where we give you step by step training on today's best WordPress plugins and marketing tools to grow your business. business, business. And now, here's your host, Seth Riley. Seth Riley. Seth Riley. Hi, and welcome back for another great episode. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace your default WordPress commenting system with Facebook comments. Now, there's a few things I wanted to go over uh, before I actually show you how to install the plugin and add the Facebook commenting system to your WordPress site. And I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about uh, just some of the, the pros and cons uh, of the plugin. Now, one really great thing about Facebook comments is that uh, it will give the users the option to automatically post the comment to their Facebook wall. And that's a really good thing if you're looking for some viral expo exposure. So that's just really something to consider when adding Facebook comments. Another great thing is that when you do have Facebook comments on your, your WordPress blog, it's really familiar to people and it's definitely uh, a little more friendly than the, the standard uh, WordPress commenting system. And you know, people like uh, Facebook. And it also adds social proof to your site. So that's a great option. And I personally like Facebook comments on my website. There's a few uh, cons, but first I want to just cover a few more perks of the plugin. You'll probably get less spam because a lot of Facebook users don't use multiple accounts. And so most likely they're going to use their personal profile to comment on the post. And if they already are logged into Facebook, at the time when they're scrolling around and commenting on your posts, well, they don't even have to sign into Facebook to comment. It's just, it's really seamless and fast, and it, it pretty much takes the task of registering for your WordPress site uh, to comment on your post. It's, it's very fast, and I, I think it's really cool. It's a, a great option, and if you wanted to go with, um, you know, the, the default WordPress commenting system, that's fine too. Or you can actually use both at the same time, and I'm gonna walk you through that and show you how to do that. And also, Facebook comments are indexed by Google uh, with this particular plugin, so that's also a, a great perk. Uh, just some of the cons of the plugin. Basically, when you set up a Facebook app, you can do that, and that's fine, but it's not gonna add the, the commenting system to your WordPress database. So if you deleted the plugin down the road, it would not save the comments to your WordPress database. That's really something to consider, uh, you know, and it, you know, it might scare a lot of you and I understand that, but for me, I, you know, I do a lot of Facebook advertising and things like that, so it's worth it to have Facebook comments on my, on my site. And another thing is you can't use any other social sites to log in to comment if you're using the Facebook commenting system. You have to, uh, log in with Facebook uh, to comment on the post. So that's something to think about. But if you were doing like a landing page setup, I'm just going to go over here and click on the landing page that I have here set up for you guys. Now keep in mind that this is a demo site, so everything we're doing here is just uh, for demonstration purposes only. Now if you wanted to add a Facebook uh, commenting system below your landing page or your squeeze page, that's a really great option to add social exposure. Uh, to your product and you know people are going to be more prone to buy your product if they see a lot of you know social proof on your site and a lot of people are really interested uh, it's just going to help to engage a lot more people and, and to really get them talking on your site so you know these are some of the things that you want to consider when using Facebook comments so uh, without further ado let's go over here and open up a new tab and go to Google and you just want to type in Facebook comments in the search bar then search for it once you do that, you just scroll down and click, you'll see WordPress, and then you'll see Facebook comments and WordPress plugins. Go ahead and click that link. And then you just want to download the version right here. Uh, if you don't want to do it this way, you can. it's also available in the WordPress directory. So if you want to come over here and type in, uh, I'm sorry, Facebook comments, and then search for the plugin. And you know, there's a lot of different uh, plugins called Facebook comments, but what you want to look for is the author's name. So you just want to scroll down here. Okay, and as you can see right here, it says by Alex Mose. And that's the plugin author of the plugin that we're going to use today. So all you want to do is just go ahead and install that plugin now. Hit OK. Then activate the plugin. Okay, now that we've activated the plugin, you just want to scroll down to 
settings, then Facebook comments, and you just want to ignore this yellow box here. If you want to get updates from uh, from him uh, via newsletter, you can enter your email here and, and sign up for that. Uh, but what we want to do right now is create a Facebook app to uh, handle and manage your comments. So you just want to click on this right here where it says create an app to handle your comments. It's going to open up a new tab and take you to the, the developer Facebook page where you can create apps. Okay, as you can see, I'm already logged in. Um, you know, you might not be logged in, so you might have to do that. I have a few apps already created here, so I'm not actually going to create an app to handle the, the Facebook comments. But if you wanted to do that, you just scroll up to uh, apps right here, click on that tab, and then create a new app. So you just want to give your app a name and then give it a, a namespace as well. Um, that's optional, but go ahead and do that. It's like the unique, unique name um, or slug, I guess you could call it. Uh, for the for the app then choose a category and once you've done that you just create the app and all your apps will appear here as you can see I have an app called White Hat Mastermind so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that app right here and then you have your app ID you wanna grab that and then enter your app ID there and then just scroll down and hit save changes real fast alright and as you scroll down the page you'll see under main settings uh, the Facebook app ID it automatically adds it down here so you know that you have entered your app ID correctly and all that there's a few other settings here uh, that you really don't have to worry about you can just keep in default it gives you the option to use HTML5 the Facebook comment snippets below your posts you can choose to enable that or disable that and it also says you can use Facebook name server it only says enable this if Facebook comments are not appearing so you guys can just kinda of play around with these settings but it's pretty uh, simple how to set this Facebook commenting system up. Under display, you'll see you can have it on your posts, all your pages, or your home pages. I personally don't want to have it on my home page or all my pages. I do want it on all my blog posts and my portfolio pages. So I'm going to make sure it's, uh, that post is selected. And then you choose your language, you cho choose your color scheme here, dark or light. There's not a ton of different options um, to customize the design of the Facebook commenting system but remember you know when you're using this system um, you wanna give your visitors something that's familiar to them so you just wanna stick with the Facebook uh, you know color scheme and then you can choose the number of comments you want uh, the width of, of the commenting system uh, for the global settings uh, and then you can add your title here your comment text as well you can choose to show the number of comments that appear on your uh, on each individual snippet or not. It's really up to you. And then if you scroll down here, it does have a really awesome short code option. So even if you don't have pages or home page selected, you can scroll down here and you can grab uh, the default uh, short code right here and add it to any page or post you want to add Facebook comments to. Now I'm going to go with a little more advanced one right here. If you grab this one, this short code right here, it'll give you the option to change the width, to turn off the count or turn it on, um, to, to show the number of comments and things like that. So we're just going to go ahead and grab that. And then I'm going to go over to pages. Now what I'm going to do, I'm sorry, I'm going to close out the uh, Facebook app page now. Okay, and this is just my, you know, demo landing page here I don't have a video up yet but you know this is just to show you guys um, how to install it so I'm gonna go over to that landing page and then I'm just gonna scroll down here find where I want to insert the short code and then I'm gonna add it to the page and then you just want to grab the URL here and then paste it right where it says URL and then just add your custom width to the page. I'm just going to put 600 and keep the rest how it is. And I'm going to scroll up to update, come back over to the page, refresh it. And as you can see down here at the bottom of my landing pages, I've added Facebook comments to this page. Now, I want to show you how powerful Facebook comments can be just by, you know, having visitors post to your your blog I'm just gonna type in some dummy text here this is a test and I love it alright and as you can see it has a checkbox right here it says 
also post on your Facebook and you know by default it's automatically checked so that's great hopefully most people won't see that and it'll add, add, add it to their uh, wall and then you just want to hit comment and since I'm already signed in to Facebook I don't have to log into the commenting system and you know jump through hoops to, to post on something I like I can just go ahead and post and it's going to add it to my Facebook wall which will give your site some viral exposure so I'm going to refresh the page now and scroll back down to the bottom and show you the post. As you can see, we've added uh, a little post here. Now I'm going to go over to my actual Facebook profile and show you how it appears on your site. Okay, as you can see, it actually displays your, um, your comment at the very top and then it links back to that specific page. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, it directed us back to the landing page that we commented on. So this is just a really powerful feature and you know if you wanted to add a custom image in here um, and add a custom title and excerpts for each individual page that you allow Facebook comments on you can do that with a different plugin and I'm going to show you how to do that in a different episode but for now I just wanted to show you the power of adding you know some viral exposure to your site. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this tab now and then I'm gonna click back over to my home page here and go to my blog pages and I'm gonna show you how it added it to the blog and everything so I'm gonna click on read more on this blog post and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of the page and you can see it added uh, Facebook comments here and, and basically it added it right below the article so that looks really nice and by default WordPress will still display your old comment system so you can either choose to have Facebook comments and WordPress to give people the option whether they want to want to sign in and register at your site to comment on your stuff or they can use Facebook comments that's a great option if you don't mind you know uh, just the look of having two comment systems on one post and another great thing about this plugin is it really doesn't bog down your site too much I've tested a lot of different Facebook plugins and this one seems to keep my site loading the best and it really doesn't conflict with uh, any other code on my site so that's really a great thing and I definitely suggest using uh, the plugin I suggested if you're going to use Facebook comments but I'm also going to show you how to deactivate the uh, default WordPress commenting system we're just going to scroll back over here and what I'm going to do I'm going to actually find this post right here I'm going to show you how to disable it on a per page basis. So I'm just going to edit the post. Now within your WordPress site, you can click on screen options up here and a drop down will uh, appear. You can choose to display the discussion options on your posts and pages or you can disable it. I'm going to enable it so we can uh, change whether we want comments to be shown on a per page basis. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and it says by default it has it says allow comments and we're just going to uncheck that and then scroll back up to the top and update the page and then we're going to come back over to the blog post refresh this page and scroll down to the bottom and as you can see it got rid of the default WordPress commenting system and now we are just using strictly the Facebook comments so uh, this is just a really great option if you are tired of using the WordPress you know registration process for people to um, leave comments on your site if you're looking to get more Facebook exposure and also more social exposure then you, you know Facebook comments is definitely a good way to go and like I said it's pr it's gonna definitely prevent uh, spam because for one all the comments aren't being stored in your WordPress database so you don't constantly have to be sorting through your WordPress comment system to figure out which comments are spam or which ones are legit uh, basically, you know, even if there are spam comments from Facebook that appear on your, you know, below your posts, you know, no one really knows because every, everybody sees a Facebook profile 90% of the time, 99% of the time, your your mind's going to think it's a real post even if it's not. But if you see something obscure and you don't want it, you know, below your post, you can you can delete it really easy. And let me show you how to do that real fast. So you can do that very easily. All you have to do um, is once you you know you have comments below your your Facebook comments um, I'm not gonna add another comment here but I'm just gonna click back over to the landing page where I actually added a comment and if you scroll down to the bottom page 
you'll see the option uh, for moderator views. And all you gotta do is click on that setting right there. And you know, it'll, it'll show all the, the comments and you can choose to select all of them or individually select them. And then you click that and you can just hide the comment. It's really simple. So basically, you know, that's, that's the Facebook comment system. It's really easy to manage the comments on the front end opposed to having to um, go into your, your uh, WordPress comment system. Like you, you go over here and you click on comments. And normally, you know, if your site's getting a decent amount of traffic, you're just going to have a ton of pending and spam comments that you have to sort through. And, you know, if you, if you don't want to waste the time and do all that junk, then, you know, just use the Facebook comment system. I have nothing against WordPress comments. They're great uh, if that's what you're going for. I do use them on uh, different sites, but, you know, for sites that I run a lot of uh, Facebook traffic to, then I want to use the Facebook comment system to really engage my audience. Thanks for tuning in to the White Hat Mastermind Show. You can check us out at www.whitehatmastermind.com.